hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel i am ridwan ibrahim and in this video i'll be showing you the interoperability of start pro sub 2000 and proto structure there are some cases where you'll be making a design in a particular software then you will want to forward it to another software personally i like making steel design in start pro i will do the modeling the analysis and the design of the member here in start pro then when i want to do the design of the connection i prefer using proto structure or tecla so all i will have to do is to transfer my design to proto structure or tecla so yeah what i have here is actually rc building you can see the rendered view um it is a rc building here we do not have um a slab you can see how it looks like there is no slab here and then we have um a kind of um extension outward here so this is um the design i have here so now all i will have to do is to transfer this to proto structure but i cannot transfer this to proto structure directly there is no easy um, interoperability between them so all i have to do now is to open this using sap 2000 all right so the name is uh, mr raymond mr raymond building then i can just close this tab then you can open your sub 2000 all right all right here we are in um sub 2000 and then i named it uh, mr raymond building so the first thing you do is you go to file and then you can go to import then from import you can see what you have here you have start slash whatsoever so just click on that and now the next thing for you to do is um, you just click on read file so I can start searching for where you have the file. Now, um, where do I have the file? I have the file um, um, here, but my location will be different from your location for sure. So uh, make sure this is saved to um, start files. Okay, then um, let me just look for the file. So this is the file, Mr. Raymond building. Then just click on open. Now I have um, all of these files here. The file has been read and it is okay but you can see i cannot click okay so what i have to do is to first of all convert this um data so click on convert data and now i will have to choose um, a particular code um let me use um let's just say america which is aa then just click on open and then it will convert all the data and then you see all your um areas and everything so just click on okay now you can see all my file you can see i have my file here so um, um you can just do your you know whatever if you want to continue your design with sap 2000 you can just this is how you open it in sap 2000 and then you move ahead to you know to complete your design and everything all right so now that we have the project here in sap 2000 and it has been saved then we can easily transfer this to proto structure though how do i do that you can go to file and then you go to export and now i'll be exporting as ifc for every bim software they usually have this extension dot ifc so you'll be using this ifc so just click on ifc all right so you have the ifc two by three for proto structure 2021 it gives the ifc schema to be two by three so you can just put it in architecture and then your units it can be meter or whatever uh, let me make it to be uh, millimeters and then let the force be kilonewton okay so you just click on um, browse and then you give it a name so i will still make it to be mr raymond i'll make it to be mr raymond then where do i want to save the ifc file uh, let me just save it in um, yeah let me save it in document so I'll just save it in document, then just click on save. Now you can now go to um, Proto Structure. So now I'm in Proto Structure, I'll just create a new project and then I'll give it the same name. Uh, let me just give it uh, Mr. Raymond. I cannot use space here, but I'll just use uh, the underscore. And then let me choose um, PSA 210. Okay now we can now import the ifc file to proto structure under the building set out you can see ifc import here you can as well go to bim then you see ifc import and you can also export from proto structure to another bim software using ifc but right now i'm importing so click on ifc imports and then you are going to browse for the file so um 
let me just go to um drawing files and then here is a uh, mr raymond building in ifc then i'll just open it then i'll uh, just click on import ifc now let's wait for it to do the conversion and everything it will automatically load everything okay so when it is done doing all this um you can then close um but when you look carefully you will see that i have some grid line in a targeted way like this you know all this they are not um actually useful um it is because i have my slab modeled from start pro um when you want to transfer your model just make sure you have your column and your beams in any way they are modeled then you can come to product structure to uh, model the slab this is because in start pro you need to discretize your slab before you can perform your analysis you can discretize it or not discretize it actually but in product structure you don't need to discretize your slab before it can perform the fe analysis or any kind of analysis so that is why you are having all these um targeted grid line however you can delete them if they are not necessary you can just you know highlight everything and then you right click then you can click on delete however make sure you are deleting the axis alone um the axis that are useful will never get deleted but the ones that are not useful will automatically get deleted so click on okay okay so you may not know but it will have reduced so um let me see what we have in the 3d view you see that the slab will never be there it will automatically delete all the slabs it won't take in the slab it will not recognize the slab okay um this is the um 3d view you can see what we have here all right so if you look um very closely you will see that at this point where there was a discretization you can see because there was a discretized slab over here before in start pro that's why you are seeing that the beam is being broken at this point but if you do not have it discretized from start pro it should definitely be a straight uh, beam just like you have your column you know you can see it is just a straight column so this is exactly how you do that apart from that you see every other thing are they are perfect but you definitely need to run your analysis again the building analysis will not be activated so you have to you know do your analysis and then you can run the design and whatever you want to do here in Prata structure you can continue it in as much you have your uh, model transfer to Prata structure so this is exactly how you transfer your model from start pro to Prota structure if you enjoyed this video kindly give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you give it a subscription thanks for watching